Hey everybody! Welcome to part two. Those are three part series on how we made this beautiful little baby right here. Yeah, baby girl. Little hmm. Miss Pella. So, yeah. part two is infertility. Not my infertility, but um, Cole's infertility. Duh. Because <laughs> she carried her. <laughs> Even though I tried to get her to, she, she didn't want to. She cares too much about her body. Go figure. <laughs> I had the sense of if you carry it, you can get healthier faster than I can. That's, that's just too easy, isn't it? Who wants something easy? Uh, anyways, <laughs> the first part of our discussion is going to be the first hurdle that we had to get over with my infertility, and that is PCOS. Something that you already knew you had. Yeah, I, I knew that I had that at the age of 16 because I was having irregular menstrual cycles and um, they finally figured out like I had cysts on my ovaries. Um, PCOS is polycystic ovary syndrome. So, um, hence the cyst ovaries. But uh, it keeps you from having cycles. It has problems with weight gain. Um, there's also issues some women have extreme like facial gr hair growth and things like that because um, it's basically your hormones are completely out of whack. You don't have that. <laughs> so, thanks. <laughs> um, so, with the PCOS, they put me on medications um, like metformin, which is for your sugars, if you have high sugars, which I didn't, but they still wanted me to treat me with that anyways. Um, also birth control, just to keep my cycles regular and keep yeah. those going. Um, so I was on and off birth control just specifically to have cycles from 16 to like now. I mean, I, there's literally no, there's really no cure here. Yeah. And I've seen um, people get on birth control, they get ickle. Yeah. There's something in it that makes them swell. It does, like a lot of birth controls make you gain weight because of the hormones and stuff. Um, so, I mean, it's so it, again, it's like a whole other snowball effect of I'm already fat, basically. So, <laughs> you're making me take a medication that's going to make me even bigger. That sounds yeah. so much fun. Um, <laughs> but, it, it was a process to get through and to figure out what exactly the doctor wanted us to do, knowing that I had PCOS going in. And um, so, like you said, your weight. So, with me and her, our first thing was, what are you gonna do about your weight? Because this is what we're setting up to do. She wanted you to, um, what was it? You're only allowed like 15 pounds to gain during your pregnancy? Yeah. And we both thought that was insane because we literally know people that gain 60 pounds. Well, yeah. pregnant I mean the entire time and they only want me to gain 15 and I already knew like I was easy to gain weight I mean it's it just, just it just sound unhealthy 15 pounds for nine months like I don't it just, it just don't sound healthy for a pregnancy I mean cuz your baby, well, had, baby's come out six pounds so what is the other 11 pounds I guess oh, just wait. fluid and the the unhealthy. sack <laughs> the placenta? That sounds unhealthy. <laughs> well, I was kind of hoping that somehow she would be getting like all my nutrients and I'd like lose a little bit of weight. Because <laughs> there are some people that do. <laughs> yeah. Not that I wanted to be sick, I wanted to be healthy. But I just wanted it to be like pregnancy was good for my body to the point that I lost weight. <laughs> That's not how it went, but. With the weight loss, she was like, I want you to lose weight before we get started, so you have some leeway. And I dropped 60 pounds, so yeah. I mean, it was really, and that mainly was all eating, um, cause, because I don't know if you guys know, eating is 80% of weight loss, and then exercise is 20%. So, um, if you just stick to eating at first, you could lose a lot of weight. Yeah. Um, I would suggest trying to like adjust your eating first, and then, quickly jump into weight loss because it can help you um, keep your skin 
from yeah. being Sorry. like saggy and stuff when you're weight loss because um, that's a problem that a lot of people have. Good time. So, I mean, with that, it was a yo-yo back and forth. There were times where I would gain some more weight and she would be so like headstrong like, are you listening? Are, are like, you not don't ready? you want this? Yeah. You said you wanted to get pregnant. Why are you gaining weight? <laughs> What's the matter, girly? I see you. She's like, I want to be in the video. Like, in it. You see? All eyes on me. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, she was very strict about, I told you lose weight, lose weight, you know, and it was a good push for me because yeah. I need that. Um, she tries to help me with that and it doesn't go well because I tie my emotions into it and I feel like, why are you being mean to me? Yeah. And so she will try to train me and it just doesn't go well. Like, <laughs> I take her advice and I pick what I want to pick from it and then I go from there. But I try not to like let the things that she say hurt my feelings. Because it does. <laughs> I don't say things that hurt. It's just form and technique we talk about. But anyways. But it's just how I take it. Yeah. It's because, like, I don't know. You guys comment down below if you have the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like, like some random person could tell you, like, you need to do this workout better. But she says it, and I don't know why, but it just, like, comes personally to me. And it's like a wall comes up, and I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> but other things, we work great yeah. as, as a team. Yeah. But for some reason... My weight is kind of a sensitive issue. I've always had problems with my weight, um, just yo-yoing back and forth. So I think it just it's just a personal and emotional thing. And because I love her so much, and I I, um, I look to her for advice and things like that. Sometimes I just can just be too emotional. Yeah, <laughs> too emotional. <laughs> But you did good. You did. You got your weight under control. Well, you got it to a point where it like it gave you leeway for your pregnancy. So she, and then when we got to that part, she was like, okay, she was okay to move forward with it. Yeah. So because she wasn't gonna do it if Cole didn't lose the weight. Yeah, she was very strict about like let's not waste each other's times. So, like if you're not gonna try to lose weight, like we're not gonna waste your money. We're not gonna waste your time. Like yeah, cause it just it just made it a higher risk. So yeah. So like she was very honest with us through the whole thing and again that's probably the best best thing about this lady that we found. Yeah. And so we're going forward with that. They sent the the sperm to her and we got started on a plan of medications. Mm -hmm. And the first round she wanted me to try uh well okay, actually let me back up. She had me on prenatal vitamin D, a medication called Fertility Blend, which is just like an herbal supplement that's supposed to help. You can actually find it on Amazon if you guys want to look into that. Um, it's herbal, so like it shouldn't cause you any problems, but of course, ask your doctors. Um, there was also, um, when it got time to do the actual treatment, we did Clomid and HCG injections the first round. So when it came to the Clomid, the first round we went in and nothing had happened. There. And what 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 is I? Because I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I was trying to pay attention during the process, but I didn't pay attention to what every medicine meant and what it did. <laughs> Clomid helps. Like, are you asking like what Clomid does? Yeah. Oh, okay. You didn't really give a specific question. <laughs> Um, Clomid is like, I don't know the exact definition of what it does, but they use it, and I don't know if this is exactly what it's used for, but I know a lot of doctors use it, and it's to help with you releasing eggs. I think it was originally used for something else, like, like cancer or something. 
like basically how we stumbled into Viagra. Yeah, <laughs> it was for our heart condition. It was something else, and then they realized women were producing eggs more when they were on this medication. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to help with that. And when we went in, I had not produced any eggs. And it's a medication that usually women can produce a ton of eggs on and end up with multiples in their pregnancy. So yeah, it was like a slap in the face of holy crap, <laughs> my my stuff really does work. Yeah. <laughs> my ovaries are not producing. It's <laughs> not releasing. Really yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> We went forward with that and automatically she was like, you didn't produce anything, we're not doing this anymore. We didn't try to inseminate that round either because there was nothing to inseminate into. Um, yeah. So she she was like, we're gonna try something else. And it was an, I wish I could remember the medication. I thought I had some and I looked and I didn't have any left over. I wanna say it started with an F and it is also not intended for fertility but it has been used for that um mm -hmm. but we tried this and i started producing eggs like automatically yeah. um they weren't necessarily the sizes that she wanted but we were getting somewhere and the hcg shots would help with releasing the egg and trying to mature them and get them to the right point to where we could inseminate with the iui right so they send the sperm in a tube to the office and she unfreezes it and we do the injection and she does the IUI and then it's kind of like for the next couple of days you're supposed to relax and uh, rest in bed and try to keep your pelvis elevated if you can. Yeah, all, all the stuff you've seen on TV. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> And I didn't mind that. I mean, who who minds relaxing for a couple of days? There would be times where it would be like during a work week that we would have to go because that's just where my cycle fell and everything. Yeah. And um, it's, all, it's all about timing. I, I, timing. I did not mind missing work to go do that. So, yeah. Uh, another cool thing, because, uh, you know, it's our first time experiencing it. And for those, those that don't know, I probably won't even go through this process. The The specimen comes in like i thought it would be in a jar i don't know why i thought it was in a jar because that's just what you see people put specimens in on movies but it was in like this pixie straw tube looking thing i literally like the size of a, a coffee stir but this big and it was and that's all it was that's all it was yeah and they thought that out thought it out and put it in you um yeah so and then there's different versions you guys there's like like we talked about the before. way it comes no, 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 no. Oh. I don't know about that. Oh. Um, but there's different versions of how you get it inseminated. Um, IUI, ICI, IVF, like, you know, but IUI was the way we wanted to go. Yeah. It was the easiest for us with the doctor, and that's what we did. And we, and it took us, uh, how many rounds did we do? Total? Yeah. Uh, well, it was three years, and I think we at least did, like, four four tries because um, the consistency of trying over and over and over is what you want to do um, so if you're like planning ahead know that you want to have enough money to be able to do multiple rounds mm -hmm. because what she explained to us was um, the repetitiveness of the the medicine and doing the process of the IUI and all of that it helps get your body regulated and, and used to, okay, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, so we would at least try three or four times with every consistently. So try this month, next month, following month, like you did it month to month until you got somewhere. I would say we probably did anywhere from 12 to 14 or <gasps> yours. Yeah. So, I mean. And it wasn't 12, 14 months consecutively. No. Just, we took a break. Yeah, we would take a break. Um, and we'll talk about that kind of more in the third video. Because I would say that kind of goes into the worship yeah. and everything. Because realizing that you need a break and the reason why you need a break, we'll just go into that a Pretty little good. more later. 
Okay. Part three. So if you want to know about that, watch that video too. Yeah, so she ended there. And get ready yeah. for part three. So you already part three? Well, here it comes. <laughs> As always, be blessed, be kind, make, make a, a difference. difference.